Welcome back. My name is Aaron Solar. Welcome to my section on packages and advanced concepts for IBM Cognos Framework Manager. In this section, we're going to learn how to create packages. If we want to be able to create reports, we need packages first. Next up, publishing packages. So after we create one, we're going to make some updates. Next up, editing projects. We can also edit existing projects if we're taking over for somebody else. Then, the model advisor. Does your model follow best practices? Finally, transaction history. If you ever need to roll back changes or figure out what a predecessor did, great way to do this. Now, let's start our section on creating packages. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a new package. We're going to select some queries to publish in the package. And we're also going to look at some different package design approaches. Inside Cognos Framework Manager, let's go ahead and open up the Great Outdoors warehouse. It may ask you to log in. If so, just use your standard credentials. Okay, so now that we have Framework Manager open, you can see you have your four branches up here. One's our data model up top, data sources, parameter maps, and packages. If we open up packages here, you can see that we have the Go Data Warehouse Analysis, Go Data Warehouse Query, and let's go ahead and make a new one. We're going to call this one Test, for lack of better terms. So I just right-clicked on Package, Create Package, and it may take a second to uh, go through all of your data here. Okay. So let's go ahead and call this test package. If we have any description, the description is all going to fall into the metadata. So if you were trying to search for data in a large Cognos environment, metadata is a great way to find stuff. We go ahead and click next. So here's where we can select all the various options. So we can go ahead and select everything if we want. But say we wanted to just make this available to finance people. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck this. And we're going to go ahead and check just the finance or analysis box. Let's go ahead and check the finance query box as well. Now when you check the box, it's going to give you a couple different options. You can select the components in the children or unselect the components in the children. If we were to open this up, it may give you a couple different options. So we can select the component, we can hide the component, or unselect it. So therefore you could actually select the finance query folder, but underneath you could hide time, for example. So let's go ahead and click Next. And instead of calling this test, let's just call this the finance package. I'm a believer in using good naming conventions for what you're doing. So that way people have a good idea of what that package is about, other than test or a copy of test, which you find in a lot of So in here, if you want to include some different functions, this is a DB2 database that's running in the demo environment. So I'll include that, where we can also exclude some of these other ones. But since this is just DB2, we've just that one in here. What this does is it allows you to have various different database functions, which are vendor specific, such as Oracle may handle commands differently than SQL Server or Natiza. And then finally, let's go ahead and click Finish. So you've successfully created your package. Would you like to open the Publish Package Wizard? Well, let's go ahead and do that just to take a look at it. And at this point in time, we're going to save this for the next section.